Hello and welcome back. So we've talked about correlation, correlation coefficient, and we started a little bit of regression analysis. We learned how to set up a regression analysis equation. We're going to go a little bit further now into what we call goodness of fit. The best way to learn this is just to dive in. Here we go. Once you have a regression equation, the question becomes, well, how good is it? In other words, how accurate are its predictions? Consider these two scatter plots. The same line can explain both scatter plots, but it explains the second one better. There are two numbers that can tell us how accurate our regression line is. Number one is the standard error of the estimate. We call that S. And number two is the coefficient of determination. We call that R squared. The standard error of the estimate. Just like standard deviation measures the dispersion around the mean, the standard error of the estimate measures dispersion around the line. And the coefficient of determination. This is one of my favorites. The coefficient of determination tells us how much of the total variation of y is explained by the independent variable x. In other words, what percentage of the total picture do we have with this regression equation? So between these two numbers, you can get a pretty good idea of how accurate your regression line is. Let me show you. So this is the problem we were working on before. And we had found a correlation coefficient of 0.76. And we had a regression equation of y equals 1.18x plus 18.95. Now we need to find the standard error and the coefficient of determination. So go to stat tests and go all the way down to f, lin reg t test. Hit enter on that, tell it that just like it was before, x list is list one, y list is list two. Tell it that it's a two-tailed test and hit calculate. Wow, that's a lot of information. Okay, first of all, you need to scroll down. And when you scroll down, it brings up even more information. But here's what we're interested in, s and r squared. So S is 9.9, .9. that's our standard error. And our coefficient of determination, R squared, is 0 0.58. The standard error of regression provides information about the typical distance that a data point falls from the regression line. You want the S value to be low. S is in terms of the dependent variable, and so if S is 9.9, .9, then in this case, the typical data point is 9.9 .9 meals from the line. Let's interpret the coefficient of determination. The coefficient of determination provides information about how much of the full story you have. You want the R squared value to be high. R squared is a percentage. So if R squared is 0 0.58, then 58% of the variation of meals is determined by calls. So let's look at what we have. We have r equals 0 0.76, it's a strong correlation. We have our predictive equation. We have the standard error, it's high, so perhaps our points are a bit too far from the line. And we know that our r squared is 0 0.58. So we only know about 58% of the whole story. So goodness of fit just gives you more of a picture of what your regression equation is really telling you. Thanks for being here.